Hello kids, today we are going to use this Play-Doh rainbow colors pack. So here we can make rainbow, we can make the sun, we can make the butterfly, we can make the ladybirds, honeybees, flowers, a colorful caterpillar. Wow, that's interesting. So we can make so many things using these seven colors. And we can also make horse, puppy and many other things using these seven colors. So let's open the pack now. So here it is. So all seven colors out. Wow. So here we have red, yellow, blue, light blue. Orange, green, purple, dark blue, yellow, red. Wow, awesome. So let's open up all the contents. So here is the blue dough. I'm going to take a little bit of it, make it soft. Roll it like this on a flat surface. orange roll it like this yes this is very easy because the clay is so soft the dough is awesome so please kids use your imagination now I'm making a rainbow here so now let's use red. Roll it. Here we have yellow. Violet, purple or violet. Here is dark blue. Let's arrange the colors quickly. So here I'm going to make my rainbow quickly. Just arrange it in a shape of the rainbow. Like this. Let's use. Yes. Use dark blue, green, yellow, orange, and red finally. So the colors are together now. Me remove the extra make it neat wow that's interesting now let's make some clouds for our rainbow so I'm going to use the white play-doh make it soft roll it like this use your own imagination because clouds have no shape or form so you can just mold it with your hands like this to make it look like a cloud. And 
just stick it around the rainbow like this. So my rainbow is ready and it looks just like the one on the pack. Wow, here it is. So kids, you can use your imagination. Go ahead, make rainbow, make many other toys. You can make your own creations using different colors of Play-Doh. So please enjoy your playset and have fun. Kids, today we are going to use this rainbow colors pack to make a soft toy. Let me show you how to do this. So here is the blue play-doh, right? And I'm making it soft like this. So make it soft so that your soft toy is also soft and nice. So you can see on the back the soft toy here. So I'm going to make a similar soft toy using the Play-Doh set. So once the clay is soft, take a little bit, roll it like this into a ball. Neatly. Once that is done, this would make the face of the soft toy. Now I'm going to take white dough. As you can see, I'm making it soft. eyes for the soft toy like this so two balls of white dough placed like this to make eyes now take little bit of blue dough like this and complete the eye by adding blue to the white It's very simple, very easy and let's see how our toy comes out. So here I'm sticking the blue for the eyes. That's done. The eyes look very cute. Let's quickly complete my soft toy here. So I'm going to use yellow dough, here I'm making it soft and let's make a mouth. And here it is. So very simple, very easy to make. Once that is done, so let's roll the blue dough again. Now I'm making the hands for my soft toy. So here are the hands ready. Now let's roll blue dough more. The blue colored play dough here. See, just roll it neatly and this would make the body of the soft toy. So just stick it with the face 
the face which is already completed so just stick it like this this so stick it like this now use the yellow dough make it soft roll it take little bit to my soft toy so it is very simple very easy so roll the dough make it soft and stick the feet like this wow something still incomplete like in the picture there is something in the center of the toy so i'm going to do the same so let me do something here i'm going to use the red dough and quickly make a nice cap for my toy Does that look awesome? Yes, my toy is getting ready. Finally, the yellow dough at the center, right like this. Wow! Look at the cutie little soft toy I've made. It looks so similar to what it is on the pack. So, kids, go ahead, make your own creation using your play-doh, and have fun. Hello kids, today we are going to use this play-doh set. So as you can see a fish, I'm going to use play-doh to make this fish here. So it is very simple, very easy. I'll let you know how to make this. So kids, let's start with this cute little fish here. It is red in color. So I'm going to use the red play-doh first. soft roll it like this and flatten it on a surface using the roller we have a roller with every play-doh set so here is the roller use that neatly flatten it then use the knife the play-doh knife and cut out a fish shape so you can make your own innovative fish or you can have ideas for the shape or the kind of fish you want but I would make this shape so it is very easy just cut it out remove the extra clay make the fish neat like that wow and let's use the purple dough now to make designs and patterns on the fish so I'm going to roll it and make small tiny design patterns so small tiny circles on the fish's body and attach it like this that quickly here wow 
my fish is almost ready but there's some parts which are missing so as you all know a fish has gills so let's make gills so i'm going to use the red dough like this use my thumb make it flat and just attach it it's as simple as this so isn't it fun now let's give it a pattern so use the cutter and then just make lines over it so that gives the gills so just give patterns to decorate or make it look even more neat and nice now let's make the eye so the eye was missing now so let's complete it a red small circle and a purple dot over it wow my fish is ready so this is as simple and easy but there is one thing which is left a design on the tail of the fish so the tail fin is also ready and my fish is here isn't that awesome Wow, so kids you can make many such cute cute fishes and have nice fun with your Play-Doh. So go ahead and enjoy your Play-Doh. Hello kids, today I'm going to use this case of colors, Play-Doh case of colors to create a colorful caterpillar. So it is very easy, very simple. Let me show you how it's done. Wow, look at that. It is a colorful caterpillar with three different colors here. It has the red, the green stripes, the orange stripes. So let's start making this caterpillar. So for this I need the red play-doh which is right here. So I'm going to take some and make it soft and nice by rolling it like this. Once this is done, I'm going to roll it into a straight cuboidal roll like this. So all you have to do is just rub the play-doh with your palms like this and give it a straight nice shape and it needs to be a little bit nice so that you know smooth and nice so that it just turns and twists the way you want to arrange your caterpillar so I'm going to make it just like it is on the box there so now I'm going to take the green play-doh and give the colorful stripes to the caterpillars body wow so here is the awesome green color I have. Wow. And let's start making the clay soft by rolling it like this. Now take small small amount of the play-doh. Roll it into very tiny nice stripes. Like this. Wow. That's done. So I'm going to stick it over the body of the caterpillar like this. This is very simple. Isn't it? So just start off and we need some more. So I'm going to start making more of them. Here. Here I'm making the second one. So it's just so simple, easy. Stick the second one like this over the body. Wow, that's done. Now let's make the third one. Wow that is the same way as we did the previous two so here let's take this one and take off the extra right and now the fourth one let's take that there wow that's done so a bit of my caterpillar is ready all i'm left with is the orange color so let's start off here is the orange play-doh i'm going to make it soft by rolling it into my palms like this once that is done take small quantities of it just like we made green stripes we are going to make the orange stripes so isn't it simple kids 
so now let's stick it near to the green stripe like this remove the extra and make it neat wow doesn't it look very colorful very pretty i like colorful caterpillars wow that is nice i've done that the second one now the third one so once it is done stick it on like this and now the last one quickly finish this i'm just waiting for this caterpillar to crawl and go away in its new home wow look at that so i've completed here is the last one awesome my caterpillar is ready right i'm going to make it neat and nice like this just give it a shape so this would become the tail of my caterpillar right i've given that shape there and what is left is the eyes yeah the eyes and the tongue is missing so let's start with the blue play doh i'm going to use the blue play doh for the eyes so take very little of it roll it and make eyes for the caterpillar like this right so just roll it into small small eyes very tiny small cute little eyes for my caterpillar and stick them on like this wow isn't that so easy so simple to just create something so colorful and nice using your play doh wow that's done doesn't it look cute So now let's use the purple play doh and give a small nice tongue to my caterpillar. So as you can see on the picture in the box there is a small little tongue. So I'm going to create that tongue right here. So all you have to do is just roll the play doh and give it a shape like this. Wow. My colorful caterpillar is all set and ready to go. Yes, here it is. Wow, look at that. Red. I've used green, I've used orange, I've used blue and purple. I've used so many colors of Play-Doh. Isn't that awesome? So kids, go ahead and enjoy with your Play-Doh. Kids, today I'm going to use this case of colors, Play-Doh case of colors, to create a colorful caterpillar. So it is very easy, very simple. Let me show you how it's done. Wow! Look at that. It is a colorful caterpillar with three different colors here. It has the red, the green stripes, the orange stripes. So let's start making this caterpillar. So for this, I need the red Play-Doh, which is right here. So I'm going to take some and make it soft and nice by rolling it like this. Once this is done, I'm going to roll it into a straight cuboidal roll like this. So all you have to do is just rub the play-doh with your palms like this and give it a straight nice shape and it needs to be a little bit nice so that you know smooth and nice so that it just turns and twists the way you want to arrange your caterpillar so i'm going to make it just like it is on the box there so now i'm going to take the green play doh and give the colorful stripes to the caterpillar's body wow so here is the awesome green color i have 
Wow! And let's start making the clay soft by rolling it like this. Now take small small amount of the play dough. Roll it into very tiny nice stripes. Like this. Wow! That's done. So I'm going to stick it over the body of the caterpillar like this. This is very simple, isn't it? So just start off and we need some more so I'm going to start making more of them here here I'm making the second one so it's just so simple easy stick the second one like this over the body wow that's done now let's make the third one is the same way as we did the previous two so here let's take this one and take off the extra right and now the fourth one let's stick that there wow that's done so a bit of my caterpillar is ready all I'm left with is the orange color so let's start off here is the orange play-doh I'm going to make it soft by rolling it into my palms like this once that is done take small quantities of it just like we made green stripes we are going to make the orange stripes so isn't it simple kids so now let's stick it near to the green stripe like this remove the extra and make it neat Wow, doesn't it look very colorful, very pretty? I like colorful caterpillars. Wow, that is nice. I've done that, the second one, now the third one. So once it is done, stick it on like this. And now the last one. So quickly finish this. I'm just waiting for this caterpillar to crawl and go away in its new home. Wow, look at that. So I've completed. Here is the last one. Awesome. My caterpillar is ready. Right, I'm going to make it neat and nice like this just give it a shape so this would become the tail of my caterpillar right I've given that shape there and what is left is the eyes yeah the eyes and the tongue is missing so let's start with the blue play-doh I'm going to use the blue play-doh for the eyes so take very little of it roll it and make eyes for the caterpillar like this right so just roll it into small small eyes very tiny small cute little eyes for my caterpillar and stick them on like this wow isn't that so easy so simple to just create something so colorful and nice using your play-doh wow that's done doesn't it look cute so now let's use the purple play-doh and give a small nice tongue to my caterpillar so as you can see on the picture in the box there is a small little tongue so I'm going to create that tongue right here. So all you have to do is just roll the play-doh and give it a shape like this. Wow! My colorful caterpillar is all set and ready to go. Yes, here it is. Wow, look at that. Red. I've used green. I've used orange. I've used blue and purple. I've used so many colors of Play-Doh. Isn't that awesome? So kids, go ahead and enjoy with your Play-Doh. Hey! 
Hello pretty girls. Today we are going to use Play-Doh to design a beautiful dress for Princess Cinderella. Let's use pink color Play-Doh and a flower imprint roller to design the dress. Now I'm going to use blue Play-Doh and create a design like this. After this is done, I'm going to use yellow play-doh to add flowers and bows to the dress and make it look even more pretty and beautiful. Finally, Let's complete the dress design by using yellow play-doh for the shoulders. This is a beautiful design indeed. Hello girls, let's design a beautiful dress for Princess Cinderella using play-doh. Let's use golden colored play-doh and a flower imprint roller to design the dress. Now, let's use red play-doh and create an interesting pattern like this. Finally, let's complete the dress design by making a play-doh bow for Cinderella's dress. Awesome! Cinderella is all set to go. Hello girls, today we are going to use Play-Doh to design a beautiful dress for Princess Cinderella. Let's use purple colored glitter Play-Doh and a flower imprint roller to design the dress. It's a very simple design. I'm sure you girls will like it. Now I'm going to use pink play-doh to create an interesting pattern like this. Finally, let's complete the dress design by using pink play-doh to make a bow for Cinderella's hair. Wow, this looks so pretty. Hello pretty girls, today we are going to use Play-Doh to create beautiful dresses for our Disney Princess Cinderella. So let's start off by using blue Play-Doh and let's create a pretty design using the roller. Let's use different Play-Doh colors to decorate the costume. I'm using red, pink and yellow Play-Doh to create Play-Doh flowers.
Finally, let's create a hairband for the princess using blue play doh. Cinderella is now all set to go. Hello girls, let's design a Play-Doh dress for Princess. Let's use purple play-doh for Cinderella's gown. Now let's use orange play-doh to decorate the dress using butterfly and bow patterns. Now let's place some orange play-doh frills to decorate some more. Finally, let's place orange play-doh on the shoulders to finish. Princess is all set to go. Hi girls, I'm going to design a multicolored frill play-doh dress for Princess. Let's use green, red, white, purple and orange play-doh for Cinderella's gown. Wow, that looks nice. Hey girls, let's design a beautiful play-doh dress for Princess. Let's use blue play-doh for the gown. yellow play-doh frills and dots to decorate the dress like this. Finally, place some yellow play-doh on the shoulders. Let's make a play-doh hairband to finish. This is an awesome dress design. Girls, let's design a Play-Doh dress for Princess. Let's use orange Play-Doh for Cinderella's gown. I'm going to use black Play-Doh dots to create a pattern like this. Finally, let's place some orange play-doh on the shoulders and to finish a black play-doh dot on the hairband. This looks lovely. Hey girls, I am going to design a beautiful play-doh dress for princess. Let's use blue play-doh to design the gown and red play-doh belt to create a design. Now, let's make red play-doh flowers and dots to make the design look pretty. Finally, let's place some red play-doh on the shoulders. That's a great design. Hello girls, let's design a play-doh dress. Let's use orange play-doh for the gown. Now let's use blue play-doh to decorate the dress using dots like this. Now let's place some blue play-doh on the shoulders to finish. Princess is all set to go. Hello girls, let's design a beautiful play-doh dress for Disney Princess. Here I'm going to use pink and blue play-doh. Let's use pink for the gown of the Disney Princess. Let's use blue to decorate the gown. Like this. I'm going to make blue flowers and place them like this. And then blue dots all over. Finally, 
let's place some pink play doh on the shoulders and a blue play doh dot on the hair band. Wow, that looks a cute design. Hello girls, let's design a play doh dress for Disney princess. Let's use blue play doh for the gown and make flower patterns on it using the flower imprint roller like this. Let's use pink play doh to decorate the gown with bows and place white play doh dots on the bows to make it look more beautiful. To finish, let's place some pink play doh on the shoulders. This is a cute design. Hi girls, I am going to design a purple play-doh dress for our cute Disney character here. Let's decorate the dress using yellow bows and dots. Finally, place some purple play-doh on the shoulders to finish. That looks so awesome! Hey girls, I'm going to design a pretty play-doh dress for princess. Let's use green play-doh for the gown and orange to decorate the dress like this. Finally, let's place some green play-doh on the shoulders. Wow, this dress looks beautiful. Girls, I am going to design a pretty play-doh dress for princess. Let's use blue play-doh for the gown and white play-doh to decorate the dress like this. Now let's use blue play-doh bows over the white pattern to decorate the dress some more like this. Finally, let's place some blue play-doh on the shoulders. This looks beautiful. Girls, let's design a Play-Doh dress for Disney Princess. Let's use red Play-Doh for the gown and make flower patterns on it using the flower imprint roller like this. Let's use purple Play-Doh to decorate the gown and let's place a purple Play-Doh rose like this. Place some red play doh on the shoulders. Now let's place red play doh dots on the purple play doh to make it look beautiful. This is a splendid design. Hi girls, I am going to design a play-doh dress for our Disney character. Let's use green play-doh for the gown and yellow play-doh to decorate the dress like this. 
Now let's place white Play-Doh dots to finish the design. Finally, place some yellow Play-Doh on the shoulders to finish. Wow, that looks nice. Hi girls, I'm going to design a Play-Doh dress for our Disney doll. Let's use blue Play-Doh for the gown. Now, let's make yellow Play-Doh frills and dots using the imprints like this and create a cute design. Finally, place some blue Play-Doh over the shoulders to finish. Wow, that's a very pretty design. Girls, let's design a Play-Doh dress for Disney Princess. Let's use orange Play-Doh for the gown and make flower patterns on it using the flower imprint roller like this. Let's use black Play-Doh to decorate the gown with a pattern like this. And let's place some orange Play-Doh on the shoulders. To finish, let's place an orange dot over the black design. This looks lovely. Hey girls, I'm going to design a pretty black Play-Doh dress for Princess. Let's use black Play-Doh for the gown and purple to decorate the dress like this. Finally, let's place some purple Play-Doh on the shoulders. This looks beautiful. Hey girls, let's design a beautiful dress for Disney Princess. Here, I'm going to use baby pink color for the base of the gown, like this. And, I'm going to use red play-doh butterflies to decorate the dress. Let's create a pattern like this. Place four butterflies around and a red play-doh dot at the center. Now I'm going to use dark blue play-doh and create small dots and place it over the butterflies and the dot like this. Finally, let's place some red Play-Doh over the shoulders to make it look even more prettier. This is such a pretty design for Disney Princess. Hey girls, I'm going to design a simple and beautiful dress for Disney Princess. So let's use white Play-Doh for the gown. It's a very simple design. I'm going to use dark blue Play-Doh dot at the center like this on the gown. Finally, place some dark blue Play-Doh on the shoulders like this and create a nice pattern using dark blue Play-Doh like this. Wow, this looks so awesome. Hey girls, let's design a beautiful Play-Doh dress for Disney Princess. I'm going to use green, blue and yellow play-doh. So let's start by using green for the gown. I'm going to make a pattern using dark blue play-doh like this. Then let's place some dots, yellow play-doh dots on the blue play-doh to create a design like this and to decorate the dress. Finally, place some green play-doh on the shoulders. Wow! 
दिस ड्रेस लुक्स फैंटेस्टिक girls i'm going to design a beautiful play doh dress for princess let's use purple glitter play doh to design the gown and yellow play doh to create a design now let's use purple bow and dots to make the design look pretty Finally, let's place some yellow play-doh on the shoulders and make a hairband to finish. That's a great design for princess. Hello girls, let's design a play-doh dress for princess Cinderella. Let's use yellow play-doh for Cinderella's gown. Now let's use pink play-doh to decorate the gown with bows and dots. To finish, let's add a pink dot to the hairband. This is a cute design.